They showed my mother $50,000 in a briefcase. I saw money from different schools, savings, bonds, women, two Cadillacs. You know, what do we need with two Cadillacs? Anything you thought that really caught your attention? Cattle, livestock? Yeah, livestock. Eric Dickerson has shown up at school today in a gold Trans Am. There was this gleaming gold prize. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Carmine McLean is undecided about his college choice and why does it matter? It appears that Carmine was all set to go to Miami after committing to them over UF and then all of a sudden got cold feet. Now, the early signing period has passed and the big question remains, where will Carmine go? Speculation has it that Coach Prime, along with many Others are salivating over the prospect of Cormani hooking up with Travis Hunter to form an unstoppable duo in Colorado's backfield, coached by Deion Sanders, the greatest cornerback of all time. And on that note, it's not even close. It's common knowledge that only Coach Prime is allowed to offer cornerback recruits at colleges he coaches at. Let's listen to a breakdown by 24-7 Sports who are talking about the situation of Travis Hunter and Cormani McLean hooking up in Colorado. I tell you this, when I think about Cormani McLean not signing with Miami today, I can't help but to think what would it look like in Boulder, Colorado with Cormani McLean at one corner and Travis Hunter on the other corner. You're talking about nightmares for quarterbacks in the Pac-12 year one. Imagine Travis Hunter, one of the greatest athletes that I've ever seen in person on the other side of Cormani McLean. If Coach Sanders can pull that out, that's a legendary first day on the job. Hey, that would be pretty epic. It's not just 24-7 sports saying this. You'll find these takes all over the YouTube. You'll find these takes all over the internet. And there's a lot of validity to it. And I, for one, do agree. It would be something awesome to see. And that kind of spectacle can't help but draw eyes when you have these elite-level recruits with great personalities playing on the edges for the greatest cornerback with the great personality of all time. I mean, who? that's just like, whoa, you know? Um, but I also have another take on this. Why it matters to me is that this may cause a shift in college football. Yes, Coach Prime was able to bring Travis to Colorado. He has proven that he's able to recruit and sway Travis Hunter to believe in his process. But can Coach Prime step off the streets and lure Cormani McLean, a recruit, who I project as the number one overall, no disrespect to our man in um, Texas, from Florida to the Rocky Mountains. This will signal that everything that we think about Coach Prime and the chance to win Pac-12 will come true. And this will be a legendary start from the beginning of the process. Not to say that it won't work out if Cormani McLean doesn't come, but it could be more of a process unless he's able to get Carmani. But the biggest implication, right? I gave you two, but the biggest implication I see in this process is the future of the NIL deal. Carmani's nickname is Money. Miami and Colorado will be throwing huge offers at Mr. McLean to win his services. The question is, will either have to break the bank to win him over or will this be a standard NIL deal for a top-level prospect? Is Money McLean trying to ink the biggest deal that will transform college football back to the days when SMU could write a check and sign the Pony Express without the fear of sanctions? I would argue UF, Georgia, Alabama, LSU, Miami, Ohio State, any of the big name programs to throw their names back into the hat. Because as that February 1st date approach and the numbers become bigger and bigger, it may be an opportunity for them to set themselves apart by bringing in Mr. McLean. He has already shown that he's open. At one time, it was expected that he was signed with UF, Alabama, you know, all the big names have talked to him before. And truthfully, I believe he doesn't owe anyone anything. He should stay true to the process. He should keep his recruiting open. He should go where 
he's going to be compensated fairly for the work that he's going to put in. Because believe me, and anyone that has even seen any part of college football knows that college athletes put in a ton of work and they deserve to be compensated for it. College football is a multi-billion dollar business. Obviously, I've never seen a billion dollars, but I do know that's a lot of money. And the athletes do deserve a greater portion of that process, even with the NIL deals. I will argue that major Power 5 schools or teams that want to be Power 5 schools like USF should break away from the NCAA, connect more with the NFL, and be, and truly become a minor league system that the athletes can compensate it for depending on where they want to go, how they want to sign, how they want to play the game. But that's a video for another time. I just may make it, but I appreciate you guys for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And the question that I have for you is, is should Cormani McLean take his talent to the highest bidder? And what are the implications for college football moving forward if that should happen? Catch you in the comments. Peace.